Y'all need a massage. My back hurts, everything hurts, life hurts. <laughs> let's get into this video, all right? Let's, let's just get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I'm back with the the feelings. Today we're doing how to add your subscribe button layovers or pictures to your YouTube videos. I'm gonna be showing you guys as I do it on my computer. So let's get started. So the application that we will be using in order to do this is called Keynote. So you want to get Keynote. If you don't have Keynote, I will find another way to do it and I will show you guys. But for right now, the application that we're using is Keynote. So Keynote, I know for a fact, is offered on Macs and it's also offered on phones as an app. So you can download this app and do it the same way that I have done it. It might be a little bit different because I am doing it on my computer. So when you open Keynote, this is what's gonna pop up. There's a whole bunch of my presentations in different colors in different formats the presentation format that you want to go to is the white one so I'm gonna choose that and this is what's gonna pop up so what you want to do is delete the boxes that are already there and the next step we're gonna do is go to background which is located over here where I'm showing you guys and you're gonna click on it and you're gonna go to a lime green color which basically cancels out when you use it as a layover in your video so the next thing that you want to do is go to media and choose the photo that you would like to be in the layover of your photo and the photo that I have chosen is the subscribe button I'm going to look for the subscribe button because where is it? Who knows? Subscribe. Why did I spell it like that? You know what? I'm embarrassing. Subscribe button. Oh my goodness. There we go. There it is. <laughs> look. Okay. Look. Stop judging me. So you're going to click open on that. <laughs> right? And it's gonna pop up like this. So you can make your button as big or as small as you want. There's an option to type a caption, it's right here. You can have individual caption per image or the same caption for all images. I'm gonna unclick the caption option because I don't want a caption. And I usually put mine in the corner so that it's not blocking my video or anything like that. So I put it down here, I'll rise it a little bit. So the next thing we're gonna go to is animate. So when you animate the photos or the image that you have put into the layover, basically it'll move. So I'm gonna show you guys what it can do. So I'm gonna start off with none. The build-in, I'm gonna add an effect. The effect that I want to use is move in. So that's moving, that's what it looks like when it moves in. You can change the way or direction that it moves in from. It can go from top to bottom like that there's many different options the one that i'm going to do is top right to bottom left so to preview that and boom it goes like that <laughs> i can also add an effect an action effect or i can add a build out which is basically how it leaves so i'm gonna add an effect to the, the build out show you guys a few Ooh, blind so that's cute and it gets out Ooh, i kind of like that crumble cube pop scale big boom spin oh did i mean to click that i think the one that i want is crumble we're going to build order so the order that i have it in is move in and then how it leaves is crumble so we're going to preview that And boom, that's basically how you make or create a layover for your video. Hey, it's a voiceover now, hey. So anyways, this is the second way to add pictures or videos to your YouTube videos. This will also explain and show how to actually add the layover to the video that you have created. So you want to start by downloading the picture or the video that you want to put in your video. Next, you want to save it to your desktop. So once it's saved on your desktop, drag the item over where you want it to be in your video. Once you place it, click on the icon in the top left corner, or whatever, I'm trying to sound so professional. Anyways, click on the toolbar, option bar, whatever you want to call it, and scroll down to picture in picture. Once you click that, you want to place your picture or item or whatever, wherever you want it to go. 
quick sidebar please ignore the facial expressions that I have while it's on random parts in the video in this video cuz I look crazy all right back on topic so right now I am choosing the kind of border that I want it does range from small to thick borders and you can also change the color of the border that you want and right now I'm just making it as big or as small as I want it to be I'm trying to make sure that it's not blocking anything else in the video that's important for you guys to see making sure to place it in the correct place y'all look at me I look I look crazy anyways so there are two little circles in the clip that you have already placed it above your other clip um, and those two little circles let you adjust if it comes in slowly or if it comes in instantly which was just shown just now you can also directly import media into iMovie by clicking on the arrow, the downwards arrow in the top left corner of iMovie. And lastly guys, when you're saving a layover, make sure to save it as a movie file. I cannot stress that enough. Save it as a movie file. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below because I'll be happy to answer them. Let me know if I didn't explain it well or if you need help with anything else. But thanks again for stopping here at Bank J's and come back to your girl out. Love y'all.